column addition with more than four digits. In this nugget, our learning objective is to use the column method for addition. Remember, we use the column method to help us solve addition calculations that would be too difficult to solve in our heads. This calculation here, 662,595 out of 319,040, has been solved using the column method. Let's have a look at this calculation. 22,416 add 72,132. When using the column method, you must make sure that you set out your calculation carefully. You need to line up the numbers in the correct column and you must remember the add sign. So here it is. Each digit is lined up in the correct column. We're going to use counters to help us to solve this calculation. So here it is represented with place value counters. We must remember that when we're using the column method, we must always start at the ones. So we've got six ones and we've got to add two ones. So six add two is eight. Then we can move on to the tens. We've got one add three and that's four. And then onto the hundreds, four add one, that's five. Onto the thousands, two add two is four. And then onto the ten thousands, two add seven is nine. So our answer is 94,548. Now let's have a look at another calculation. This time 32,496 add 7,122. Now some people might set it up like this. However, this is something that you need to be very careful about because here the numbers haven't been set up in the right columns. The 7 in 7,122 should be in the thousands column, but here it's in the ten thousands column. So before we can solve this calculation, we need to push the digits back into the correct place. That's much better. Now we can solve the calculation. The ones are now lined up, so six ones add two ones is eight ones. Now onto the tens. We've got nine and we need to add two. If we do that, we get 11. But we can't have more than nine in one column. So what happens here is we exchange 10 of these tens for a hundred. And then we move this hundred across into the hundreds column where it belongs. And now we've only got one ten. So, now we move on to the hundreds, 400, add 100, add the extra 100 that we've exchanged over from the tens, we've got six hundreds now. On to the thousands, two, add seven, that's nine. So now on to the ten thousands, so we've only got three, we don't need to add anything in this column, so it's just three. So our answer is 39,618. Now let's have a look at a word problem. 115,439 people visited a zoo between January and July. In August, the zoo received 12,638 more visitors. How many people visited altogether? So we start with the number of visitors in January and July and then we add the number of visitors in August. Straight away we can see that we're going to need to have to exchange when we're adding the digits in the ones place because 9 add 8 is 17 and we know that we can't have more than 9 in one place. So 9 add 8 is 17 but what we do is we put the seven ones from 17 in the ones place and then we exchange those 10 ones into a 10 and that goes in the tens place. So now when we're adding those tens, we've got three tens add three tens, but then we must remember that extra 10 that we've exchanged from the ones. So the total of the tens is now seven. 
Now onto the hundreds place. Again, we're going to have to exchange. We can see that straight away because the total of 4 and 6 is greater than 9. So 4 add 6 is 10. We put the 0 in this hundreds column and we exchange those 10 hundreds into a thousand and that thousand goes in the thousands place. Now when we're adding the digits in the thousands place we must remember the extra one which we've exchanged over from the hundreds. So 5 add 2 add 1 is 8. Now onto the 10 thousands place 1 add 1 is just 2 and into the 100 thousands place we've only got 1. So our answer is 128,077 and this is the amount of people that visited the zoo altogether. Now it's your turn. Have a go at answering this question. A charity raised £436,657 at an event. After the event, they received another £2,492 in donations. How much did the charity raise in total? Pause the video and have a go. Well done, if you set out your calculation like this, you should have started at the 1s, 7 add 2 is 9, onto the 10s, here you should have exchanged because the total of the digits in this column is greater than 9, 5 add 9 is 14, so you should have put the 4 in the 10s column and exchanged the 10 tens into 100, 6 Add 4, again, that's greater than 9, so you're going to need to exchange. But also, remember that you've got the extra 100 that you need to add, which was exchanged from the tens. So all together, you've got 11 hundreds. You put the 1 from the 11 in the hundreds place, and you exchange those 10 hundreds for 1,000, which goes in the thousands place. 6 add 2 is 8, add that extra 1,000, that's 9. And then onto the ten thousands place, it's just the three. And onto the hundred thousands place, it's just four. So very well done if you got the answer, 439,149. So remember, when you're using the column method for addition, always start by adding the ones. If the total of the digits in a column is more than nine, you will have to exchange. And if you have exchanged, remember to add the extra digit in the next column.